You guys have been asking for it, so welcome back to Forts. Oh my god, it's it's been since March, which according to my math is about four months ago. A third of the year, or a sixth of two years. Or 12 of three. But I have a question. What if everything in Forts was nuclear? Like, I'm talking about everything. We have an atom missile, atom swarm, depleted uranium rockets, radiation rockets, dirty bombs. Sounds dirty. And then we got all the regular boring weapons. Although there's some pretty cool ones in here, but we ain't gonna play with those. Oh my God. Did the graphics look better to anybody? Or have I just never zoomed in this much before? Well, all nuclear arsenals start in the same place. We gotta dig in the ground for uranium. I believe it's uranium-235. Uh, huh. That's not ideal, to say the least. <laughs> so prior to selling everything, I think what we should consider doing at the very least is trying to take out some of their cannons. That's an ATM-6, about the only thing good that came out of the new Star Wars trilogy. Can we get some more firepower? How come that sniper can't target? Do we not have the power to open up our doors? All right, I need you to target this. Maximize forward fire power. We need to take that thing out. Oh my God, I only have the power to fire one of my three missile pods. These are not dirty missiles. <laughs> no, these are, these are the boring missiles. There we go. We took out one of the cannons. So now we can do our building in peace and we can sell you, although I'm not sure you actually get sold. And I think it's clear that we probably need to armor up our core so that an errant artillery shot can't just take us out and destroy us. Easy peasy. And if you know anything about forts and how I like to play it, I always like to build one giant derp tower where I put all my turbines on it. But we're definitely running out of minerals. We must construct additional pylons as well. And there you go. Look at that. We'll probably be able to put like a nice nine strong grid in here. You know what? Let, let's just make sure that they... Oh, oh my God. They're, they're about to fire. That's an open door. You better shut that thing. Oh, they shut it just in time. <laughs> it's like he knew we were targeting him. And then with my next purchase... More wind turbines. Because we need power badly but now that we've got one generating look how fast we're producing some of this stuff the issue being kind of low on minerals they call this a mine this isn't producing nearly enough minerals now oh my god maybe i've been playing a few logistics based games but what if the mines you actually had to logistically push the materials up and you could have like that interfered with like if an artillery cannon per se destroyed a conveyor belt that was supposed to be taking uranium to its refinery well, you'd have a bad time. Maybe that sounds cool, but then you actually play it and you're like, oh my god, this is super annoying. So we just almost decapitated the ATM-6. We've taken out its other cannon, and now, like I said, it's time to build in peace. Because repair stations, we've got a fusion compressor. So we've got a nuclear mine. Increases metal production and consumes energy. Requires a nuclear physics laboratory. This requires a workshop and a munitions plant. Or we're definitely gonna need an upgrade center. We'll put all this stuff at the, uh, m theoretically, most protected rear side of the ship. In theory, all of this would need to be destroyed or it'd be much, much more difficult to get back here. In a munitions plant, they say. Well, munitions plant requires an armory and a workshop. It requires everything. We gotta build it all. But like, even these can be upgraded to nuclear powered devices under the nuclear mod. Ooh, more iron. Iron, steel, I mean, they're not the same thing, but you get what I'm saying. I wanna make this thing super strong. This aircraft carrier is turned into like a dreadnought. Yeah, that's what it is. We have an aircraft carrier versus the new Star Wars trilogy ATM-6 Walker. <laughs> why? Because mods, that's why. And here it is, the nuclear mod by Can You. This is, this is it if you want to check it out. All right, now that we have upgrades, we can do this. We can make these turbines more powerful than the enemy could ever dream about. It means we can turn these mines into better mines. Wow. Hey, the enemy's thinking about stuff. Let's throw a bunch of cluster rockets their way. Technically not rockets, technically missiles. We do actually have rockets that you can get clustered of. Bruh. You working on some energy up there, big feller? Oh, yes. Okay, our mining rate just went up considerably. Makes me happy. Oh my gosh, we have a portal. Oh yeah, that's nothing new. Lead? Lead doors. Uh, very strong, soft, penetration, and explosive proof. 
Will not support devices and weapons. It's radiation protection. Requires a munitions plant? Do we actually have to make lead? Radiation uh? protection material? Dude, do we have to like, we do we have to actually be like realistic? Look, I'm gonna put a little R2 droid around my core here. Now, I, I don't think that'll protect us against radiation. So what we need to do is encase a little area for a nuclear bunker, but first we need to start mining for it. So we still gotta upgrade our tech. Now this is gonna get us a munitions plant. And then from there, I think it's just factory and nuclear physics lab. Now we don't need a factory for the nuclear physics lab. We'll put in a couple more turbines here though. This is fun because like, I feel like I can't just like hodgepodge randomly place stuff. I feel like I have to actually be intentional about the whole nuclear aspect of this, which is what you would have to do in real life because you know, you wouldn't want like radioactive materials leaking into Tampa Bay now, would you? Wait, what? All right, so let's actually build up some storage for power and then minerals we're gonna do next. We must construct additional power. Oh yeah, see, look at that, we're capped. My electricity is very strong right now. Oh, hello little guys, I forgot about you. I don't want my power grid to go down while I'm trying to like, why have a nuclear reactor going, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking right here would look like a pretty good spot for a nuclear area. I'm gonna start sequestering it. Dang, I need minerals. Yeah, we can produce a ton of power. But like, looking in the bottom right, like, my energy production rate is 607. My mineral production is 27. Now we're at 31, with the finishing of our newest mine. The dwarves would be so proud of us. Minerals are definitely like, the hardest resource to acquire. I don't even know about uranium. Increases metal production, but consumes the energy. All right, so we've got the area here for our nuclear power plant. We got lead, so I, I could upgrade this to 718 minerals for lead? And then a radiation protection material is like 2,400? Are you kidding me? I am never gonna financially recover from this. Yeah, so this is a lab, so I feel like it's safe. I, I don't want to put it next to my core, though. Now just to upgrade all these mines. <laughs> Make all the mines. We need 1,800 minerals to even just build a lab. You know what? Look at look at what we've they've been doing while we haven't been watching. They've just built like oh they got some weapons down here. They, those actually might be machine guns since this is back bracing. Yeah. Oh, it's a flat cannon. But of course, it's not looking the right way. You have put on some weight since we last talked. Jeez, Mr. ATM6 Walker. All right, so here's where our lab's gonna be. Actually, you know what? We'll put it right here. I, I'm not sure if I need to put lead around it, so maybe we should, but like, it's so freaking expensive. Yeah, cause like, you wouldn't think the laboratory would be radioactive. There, there'd be people working in there. So <laughs> if they were working in there and it was radioactive, they'd be coming out with like three arms, which I guess could make them more productive for a Why? All right, this thing is protected by a, a encased in lead. Oh my God. I wish I had the mod where like they call it a mine so then you can actually get three of these guys down here digging. They look like these weird little like gnomes. You know what I mean? They got some big old heads. Hey, stop building stuff, huh? <laughs> what if an ATM-6 just like stopped in place but still had to be used a as a weapons platform? Oh my God. That one little rocket got through. Missile. We're almost done, so check this out. Look what becomes unlocked. Ahem, look what becomes unlocked. Wait, what does this require? Oh! Oh God! Oh no, that's an EMP range. Okay, we're gonna learn from our, our good old Saddam here on what not to do. We need to build some air defense. Well, I guess he did. I don't think they helped much. We'll have twin flak cannons protecting this area. So the issue with these weapons is now we need to build a fusion reactor and a fusion reactor. Oh, a fusion or a fusion? Oh yeah, and of course we need the... F oh my god! Okay, and look, it, it emanates like a little radioactive area. Okay, then what I want to do is put it here, and then we will actually do lead here. That still gives me some space for radioactive protection material, which we're gonna build inside this. Oh my gosh, it's emanating green and it costs 2400. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, man. Get some serious metal imports here. Okay, it's working. Dude, look at this. Can you upgrade it? You can't upgrade it. And it actually uses a hundred energy, but that produces, whoa. 
What is it producing exactly? Is it producing... Here, I've got an idea. Let's do this thing called... Reading the instructions. Nuclear mine. Increases metal production, but consumes energy. Incoming! Oh, the... <laughs> Nerds. Okay. So I think we're doing good here. But what happens if I put something next to it? Like, is radiation really bad? Whoa, what the heck is that? A heavy anti-air gun. Never seen that before in my life. Does this guy die from radiation? I need to know what nuclear uh, radiation protection material actually does. Like, I want to see if it, it eroding, if it degrades this little machine gunner. He seems to be okay. Health isn't dropping. I think it's maybe against enemy radiation. So we might not even need all this material, but we need a nuclear mine. Okay, requires a fusion reactor. Okay, so this is a fusion reactor. Oh my God, this thing's big too. So we'll put it there. Now let's get some lead and we'll do this. <laughs> okay, I like the way this is looking so far. This is either a Skaven technology or nuclear power. That's what you know. If you see something glowing green. Yeah, look, there's no one even in the mines. They should actually have Skaven rats down there. That'd be cool. Incoming! Oh, God. We might want to increase anti-aircraft capacity. I call it anti-aircraft, but I guess, like, if I put them here, is that a good idea or a bad idea? It's a risk. But one I'm willing to take. What weapons did that unlock? Because there's a few things that are probably still going to be locked, right? No. Everything is unlocked. Okay. So increases energy production, but consumes metal. Increases large amount of metal storage capacity, but consumes metal. Very heavy. Oh! Oh no, you don't. Oh God. They've got super lasers. Jeez, that, that, this is bad news. Okay, we, we need to get our nuclear powered arsenal up and running. Oh man, that Black cannon's very effective. I'm thinking an atom missile upgradable is pretty cool. A radiating drill cannon, like a fusion plasma and a neutron beam. Depleted uranium rockets. Okay, so it looks like we have some room to test out depleted uranium rockets up front. I'll put one of those and we should be able to get atom swarms here. So what we'll do is delete these ones and put the nuclear powered varietals in their place. Oh my God, it's huge. We will only be able to get, we might be able to squeeze two. Hey, excuse me, sir. If you could please never ever look at me ever again, that'd be great. Cause I don't, I don't like where this is going. They're getting close to my, really close. What blew up? Not me. <laughs> Okay, so this is our first and our second nuclear powered weapons. Now, if you guys do want to see more forts, well, you guys know what to do. Pull the trigger and like button, let me know. It's pretty standard at this point. This thing is massive. It's bigger. Oh my God. I feel like Jeff Bezos' rocket could come out of here. It's so big. Dirty bomb mortars would be kind of interesting. I could stick it here. Although it's... Yeah. All right, so now we're going to have dirty bomb mortars. All this stuff has the potential to give off radioactive stuff. No! Oh, one got through. Um, I don't see any radioactive stuff. Oh, there's a reload thing. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, big boy's ready though. I wanna target the face. I'm expecting this to be a rather large rocket, hopefully emanating in glowing green. Oh my Eat God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, uh, there's that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. We're gonna test this again. Let's turn on fast build and unlimited all the resources. Now we gotta kill them first, remember. They're gonna have unlimited resources too. We'll wait for those to hit. Oh, we fired a little too high. And now that we're on all this, we can basically just skip to the technology part. We have unlimited everything. Oh my God, and everything builds super fast. I, I guess I turned that one on too. I totally knew that the whole time. Here's our, our nuclear lab. Then that means I should be able to build this. We'll put it right here. Then I can build one of these. We'll put that right there. Let's try to fire the laser before. Here we go, that should work. They've got these two big cannons in there. Oh my God, I mean, we basically killed them, but so we tried the atom rocket. I haven't tried a dirty bomb yet. Now I just gotta get the angle right. Oh my God, it fires three of them. That was way too high, but one's gonna hit the tail and, oh, look at it, it just dissolves stuff. That mortar 
is super powerful. I guess it does take you a considerable amount of time and energy to get these things. And I'm kind of curious if you put one next to your base, what happens? We can always text that. Uh, radiation rockets. Do we try that or do we try? Let's try a radiation rocket. Fire it at the leg. Oh no, it's, it, we, we caused a collapse. <laughs> this is the best mod ever. Now, obviously, by turning on, like, everything's insta-build, we get to see everything super fast, so keep that in mind. It's, it's OP, but it takes forever to get there. Dang, once again, man, I just really like that spot. But that should silence them for us to do our business. There we go. Decapitated. I mean, everything is super, super powerful. Radioactive laboratory, and they call it a nuclear mine in the fusion facility. Yeah, somehow these things don't hurt you. Okay, a radiating drilling cannon. 80 millimeters? Ignites structures and produces fragments on contact? Uh, let's try- wow, this thing fires a huge arc. Now, I would never build this here because it's not protected at all, but... Oh! We missed. It is, it is going to take a while for this thing to recharge. But you know what's easier to do right now? <laughs> to just replace it. And we're going to put it a little further back. Oh, that's it. Oh, did... What? That's like a bunker busting bomb. Okay. That was freaking amazing. Is the third time the charm? Ah. Goodbye, face. All right, so I think for the next one, if you guys want to see the neutron beam, you got to let me know and we can definitely make that happen in the next video. Uh, so this is what fires a high temperature plasma that penetrates ordinary materials, destroys the weapons and then ignites can be bounced off radioactive. I'm assuming this stuff like radiation protection material. All right, let's try to shoot through these legs. Oh my God, that's super weird, man. What did I do? Okay, it goes through the enemy's base, but it doesn't do anything unless it hits a weapon system. So I think the enemy probably has one like right above. Let's see if I'm right or did I already destroy them? Oh! Okay. Since there wasn't anything down here and actually I think it was all metal, these legs, they look wooden, but I think they're metal. And that's the issue here. They finally put it out. Did you see how much steam came up? Okay. The dirty bomb mortar, radiation rockets, all of these things are s relatively expensive. I want to check out this 80 millimeter cannon. Because it looks like it's actually like... Oh, I thought it was like maybe a minigun at first. And it's radioactive, right? So... Oh, yeah, good. I was about to say, I'm surprised it survived that. Okay. We've played forts. It has been such a long time. So if you guys do want to see more forts, well, let me know. And remember, this nuclear mod is available for free on the Steam Workshop if you already have forts. So thanks for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you do want to see more forts, and I'll see you in the next one.